Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to make salt dough ornaments. These are such cute, easy, and fun crafts to make and let's get started. Before I start, quickly hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you get notified every time I post. A bowl, a baking tray, wax paper, salt, all-purpose flour, and measuring cups. Pour two cups of all-purpose flour in your bowl, one cup of salt, and one cup of water. Then mix it all together until it forms dough. After a while of mixing, it should form this hard dough right here. It's very thick and this is great for making shapes out of it for the ornaments. Lay your baking tray with a sheet of wax paper and then set that to a side. Take your dough and start rolling it out with the rolling pin until it's not too thick and not too thin. You want the ornaments to be a good thickness enough so that they can bake thoroughly. Just like this. Now place a cookie cutter or you can draw shapes in it, however you want to make shapes. And once you punch a hole in it, take it out carefully and then poke a hole in it using a wooden dowel and you'll put a string in it later. Preheat the oven to 150 degrees Celsius before putting in a tray of your salt dough ornaments. Put them in there for 40 to 60 minutes. Let them cool for one to two hours and then you can get to decorating them. You can paint them, put glitter, use markers, anything you want. Have fun with it. Don't forget to paint the sides and the back of the ornament too. Alright, so I finished painting all of them. One is a flower, one is a moon, and one is just this rainbow circle. And I think they look great, so you should let them dry until they aren't wet anymore. And then once you do that, you can go on to the next step. The final step of these ornaments is to put a string through it. So I'm going to be using this blue string and putting it through the ornaments. Cut it to an appropriate length and weave it through the little hole you made earlier and double knot it so it won't fall. Once you're happy with that, cut off any excess strings. And there you have it. Here is how I made Salto ornaments. I hope you enjoyed this video and you'll use this for any upcoming events. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos and don't forget to comment down below what you want to see next. Bye!